Hello there, monsters and men, ladies and people, and welcome to Recharging, and welcome to this very, well, unsexy place near a petrol station. But what is not unsexy is this thing over here, the brand new Ford Mustang Mach-E. And I will be doing a range test, so that means I will drain the battery driving 90 kilometers an hour and driving 130 kilometers an hour. And I will start with 90 kilometers an hour. I don't have to charge the car because I literally picked it up half an hour ago so the battery is still at I think 98% so let's go so I'm currently doing the 90 kilometers per hour test and I have to drive 93 kilometers per hour to meet 90 kilometers per hour GPS speed status of the car the battery has an, a state of charge of 90% and the car estimates that I can drive 361 kilometers on that 90% but I have to keep in mind that I do not know how the previous driver drove with this car, so 361, it is probably more. It is around 10 degrees outside and, well, it is getting evening, so it is getting colder. That is something to keep in mind. But it is a nice 20 degrees inside the car. Nice and comfy. Another thing that is nice and comfy are these seats and also it is quiet in here. First impression of this car is really good. It is a really good start of my weekend to be honest what I forgot to say though is that well this is the Ford Mustang Mach-E with the larger battery pack so that means it has 88 kilowatt hours of available energy and this car also has uh, have this car does have yep all-wheel drive so it is the most powerful version uh, before the GT that comes out later this year uh, yeah so that's that and of course if you take the the larger battery pack with the rear wheel drive only you will get more range than i will get right now i gotta be honest i'm a bit surprised with how efficient this car is driving at the moment i mean for some reason the amount of kilowatt hours that i'm using for driving 100 kilometers is rounded to a whole number but i'm currently doing around 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers 18 i mean that is well that is efficient i mean i've used 25 percent state of charge at the moment and I've driven almost 115 to 120 kilometers. It's currently at 118 kilometers. So that means if we take these numbers on one full battery, I can do 445 to 460, or no, no even more, 460 to 480 kilometers. That is a lot. I mean, the WLTP range of this car is 540 kilometers. So yeah, this is good. This car just keeps on going. I mean, I have driven more than 200 kilometers and I have still used less than 50% state of charge. And it is almost time to stop because of the curfew. I mean, my estimated range of this car is still around 440 to 450 kilometers. It is impressive. So I am at a charger, well, actually I'm almost home because my home is right there, but that doesn't matter. I finished with a 90 kilometers per hour run and I started that run with 96% state of charge and I finished that run with 48% state of charge. So that means I've used less than 50% state of charge. I've never had that before, 48% to be exactly. On that 48%, I have driven 226.7 kilometers. And when I do the calculation, that means this car does have a range of 470 kilometers. That is impressive. <laughs> I think that is really impressive. This car is efficient. And a reason why this car is so efficient is because uh, this car uh, does, does do heat scavenging from the battery and the electric motor. So leftover heat from the battery and the electric motor it uses that energy to warm up the interior and therefore it is so efficient and I think in summer you are able to reach 500 kilometers and keep in mind the WLTP range of this particular version is 540 kilometers so yes that is efficient but a downside of that heating system is that I find it difficult to estimate the range in winter because well when you when uh, when it is winter it is called your car has been sitting outside you're getting in the car and well the battery is not warm yet so there's no leftover heat and then this car does have a regular electric heater so no heat pump just a regular electric heater and that can consume a lot of energy so again I find it difficult to estimate the winter range but I think 
400 kilometers, something like that. And that is because, well, that electric heater can eat up a lot of energy. So yeah, you, what you should do is definitely preheat the car before you go. That saves a lot of energy. But that, that uh, the curfew is there. <laughs> I reached my time. So tomorrow it's time for the high speed test. New day, new clothes, new test and new conditions. Yes, it is time for 130 kilometers an hour. Only the conditions today are worse than yesterday because yesterday there was not a lot of wind and it was dry. Today there is more wind and as you can see, it is raining quite a lot, but that may not spoil the fun. I have to reset the trip computer. Oh my God. No, this is not good. What did I do? Trip, trip. Trip, trip, and then you rip, 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 trip, trip. Reset. There we go. It's time for the 130 kilometers per hour test. Let's go. All right, time for a status update. And look at this, it is absolutely terrible. It cannot be worse in terms of driving conditions. I mean, it is raining, there is quite some wind. Because of that, it is, well, actually very cold. It is around four degrees outside right now. But the Mustang is going strong. But again, the conditions are absolutely the worst. Anyway, I have driven, well, I have used around 33% of battery capacity. And on those 33%, I have driven about 85 kilometers. So the range, it seems in these terrible conditions and driving 130 kilometers an hour, 250 kilometers, which is, well, I don't know, to be honest not bad i don't think it is bad because well look at it look at it so i'm back at the charger and i started this 130 kilometer per hour run with 70 percent state of charge and i arrived here with 13 percent so that means i've used 57 percent on that 57 percent i have driven 143.6 kilometers so if i do the calculation the range of this car when you drive 130 kilometers per hour is 252 kilometers and keep in mind the conditions right now are terrible rain wind it is cold it's basically winter conditions so i think in more optimal conditions or better conditions this car should be able to do 280 kilometers when you drive 130 kilometers per hour maybe even do i dare to say though maybe even 300 but that is a far stretch so that was the range test of the Mustang Mach-E, not the Ford, the normal Mustang Mach-E or Ford, whatever, the Mustang Mach-E. <laughs> I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give a like and do subscribe. If you do not want to miss any videos in the future, ring that bell. And then I would like to say now, thank you a lot for watching. And as always, to be continued.